Hey, welcome to today's devotional. We're in the book of Lamentations. It's a very intense book, the experience of the prophet Jeremiah, and we're looking at verses 43 to 45. Let's read them. You have covered yourself with anger and pursued us. You have slain and not pitied. You have covered yourself with a cloud that prayer should not pass through. You have made us an off-scouring and refuse in the midst of the peoples. Well, that, that sounds out of character. But, you know, maybe that isn't out of character because the God of heaven, he's, he's a serious, personal God. He, he, we are kind of flighty and superficial sometimes, but this God is very serious. This God wants to transform us. And he knows that we are, we are very hard cases. And so he, he, we, we need to open the gate completely and let him do a work in us that can never be done in any other way. It's going to have to be done by the divine surgeon. And it's going to have to be some of this really deep heart surgery. So what do we have here? It says here he's covered himself with anger and he's pursued us. In other words, you know, God lays a very strong conviction on us. He knows that to get our attention, he's got to be pretty pretty deep, pretty definite, pretty strong. And so he's going to put a very strong conviction on you and I about sin. And this is another reason why when we become convicted about a sin issue, we should address it immediately because, you know, the longer you delay, the more you wait, the less urgent it's going to seem. And you'll psychologically trick yourself into saying, well, this, this, this sin isn't a very big deal. All sin is a big deal. So when we first have that conviction, we need to uh, receive it. We need to be uh, sorrowful for that sin. But we should, it's a sweet thing that God gives us that conviction. We should respond to it immediately and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Completely yes. And as we've noticed before, it's also clear from this passage, he requires an accounting. You know, he pursues us. For what we do in our lives, God will require a strong accounting. So we're called to be serious about this life. He wants us to be holy, healthy, and happy. And a lot of us kind of just want to be happy. Uh, the holy part can wait and the healthy part can wait. Right now we're going to eat some chips. God has something better for us than that. He wants to take us to a higher space spiritually. He wants to do it right now. So we should let him do it. If we just want to be happy, we're kind of in that hedonistic realm, you know, just, just happy, just raw glut, gluttonous happiness. That's not what God's about. Being happy is not, is not the uh, Christian imperative. The Christian wants to be holy. The Christian wants to be right with God. So we pray God will do that for us. It goes on to say here that he actually puts on display our punishment. I mean, he requires a moral accounting. And then uh, if we do wrong, he will punish us so that not only we, but that others may see. Because he has a purpose in that. When people see God's own people being punished, they take God more seriously. And, and they may be more available for his spiritual renovations, which he so desires to do. So what lessons can we draw from this? Friend, we are a spectacle to God and men because in this moral universe, God is seeking to win as many as possible to Jesus. So since we're on display, let's, let's get it right. Let's, let's live for Jesus today. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Uh, we're in a world where uh, truly everyone is watching, not only you and the holy unfallen angels, but uh, and not only fallen angels as well, but Lord, the people who need to make a choice about which kingdom they serve, the kingdom of self or the kingdom of Jesus. So Lord, help us to put the right example out there. When we make a mistake, Lord, please forgive us and lift us up again and help us to come toward you. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So may God use you and I today, even though sometimes the Christian experience seems harder than we expected, harder than we planned on. The rewards are going to be greater than we ever thought they would be. God be with you this day.